Yes, the team is not just about the riders, but the management too. Well, we're one third of the way in now. We have five leaders, but we are hearing that, in fact, uh, Sam Dobbs, who's in this group, will not count. He is, in fact, a lap behind, and he stayed in with the front runners. Well, Phil, that's the youngest rider in the race on the attack now, trying to get across to that breakaway group. At 17 years of age, Liam Magenis is really mixing it with the big guns here. That's a good performance. Well, the confusion now has uh, been laid to rest, thank heavens. This is Magenis here now as he tries to reach those leaders. There in the distance is the pack. But, you know, there's a serious danger here because the leaders are getting away from this field and they're actually riding now approximately 30 seconds behind the pack. They could catch them. Well, that would throw the cat amongst the pigeons. You can see just the tempo difference. As you, Roger Kluger's flying into this corner here. The peloton, they were just cruising along. There's a serious danger of them being lapped, Phil. Another headache for the commissaires, the race officials, if that does happen. Well, Liam Magenis here is going to get caught, but he's 17 and yet another example of the young bloods in Australia right now. But he's being chased down here by the main field and in that pack is the yellow jersey. He's still surrounded by his uh, Orica Green Edge teammates. Uh, but if this breakaway continues at the rate it's going, Scott, uh, then he's not going to get a shot at winning the fourth and final event, is he? Well, we shouldn't be biased as commentators, but I would like to see Caleb Ewan go for four in a row. That would be an extraordinary performance. But I guess it's up to the team as to what they